I thought it was interesting that it would be a, an attractive site, a tourist site, where people come to have some of this little history around. So as I was explaining to Dr. Jarek, he began taking pictures and said, man, you know, I never learned anything like this. And he was excited to be able to take this information back to his students at Howard. So on my journey here, I also had the opportunity to travel to uh, the uh, Cape Coast. And there I visited the Slave Dungeons there at Elmina, which was a, a very powerful moving event for any body to go there and see. So I was there as I'm trying to document our story here in the United States and then there as well. So as we we're here and we we're doing these things and I organized a small little tour of the area, we also were mandated to start a business. And one of the businesses that I was invited to come and be a part of my mother's businesses here in Brown. We uh, started a computer training school at the village where we were living. And the community begged for us, please y'all to bring the school into the community so that we can have access to the computer school. Uh, so I thought, well, no problem. So we, we went to the, uh, into the community and we had an opportunity to rent this building here. This is a two-story two building, a three-story building. You know, there's a room underneath. And upstairs, we opened up a sports bar. And on the first floor, we had an internet cafe and a game room and a business center. And uh, underneath the school, underneath the building, we had another room, which was our ICT training school. And there, we taught so many students about ICT training. I have a video about it that I will show So I, these are some of the, our staff and some of the students that were coming to learn. We trained a lot of students for free of charge, and even some of the people in the community. We tried to get people to learn about the area. I had no idea that we were the first African Americans to come into this area and create a business and such. But the people were just so uh, impressed by what we were able to accomplish. And we too, we were just working and we had no idea that people were watching us in such a way. So through that, you know, a lot of young people were encouraged to see us in their work. And then we were asked so many questions, like me personally. You know, why black people haven't done anything ever? I said, oh, young man, please, I haven't seen you. And I take the rest of the day and tell him about what some of the things that African Americans or African people have done all over the world. And you know, it became so much that I eventually decided that I needed to move some of my books down. So these are how some of our personal library became a part of our business. I put our, some of my books into the game room. And I would come to the game room and find some of the young people and grown people there reading our books and then later have a, a, an informed conversation about different things that they may have found in our books. So we then began to use our space to, uh, as a community center, or where how I learned a lot about African history was through what we call their community, uh, communiversities. Where you have community universities, community schools where we go sit around and through uh, lecturers or different people come and educate us about African history. So we had, there were some elders that live in the community with us, and they said, hey, guys, we should celebrate Marcus Garvey Day, Marcus Garvey's birthday. So we organized that at our place, and some of the youth came around, and there's a thriving uh, Rastafarian community here. And they came around to support us and support our study groups. And we began to form a study group through some of the books where we would have conference, we would have discussion, and then watch a video, or have a read a book and have a discussion about those things. So other groups began to come before we had other tour groups coming to visit us because of our location in the town. So this is a Say Yes to Education group that came out of Philadelphia where they brought some junior high school and high school students to us. And it was such a, uh, uh, a rewarding experience to welcome to meet African diasporans to come and meet us here and say, wow, you know, not just African Americans, but Americans that come and meet our business and say, wow, you know, it's nice to come and meet our people, you know, at our place. This establishment is our place. It's not necessarily any one particular group. You know, we are creating a business that's inclusive of everything. So when, so when people come here, you know, we definitely like to, to be inclusive and have everybody feel welcome at our place. I hope you enjoy some of our delicious Food, that this is our fried chicken, our barbecue chicken, and we have an opportunity to introduce to Ghanaians. And we want them to also try some of our food there.
So as we had started that business in the town there, it was affected by Vodafone. They cut their power line, and they were not able to, to, to supply us internet and affected our business there. So we had to look for land. Through that relationship that we had in the town there, we had an opportunity to get this land. And here's a picture of our land from the Adomi Bridge here on the right. And this is how we met the land. It took a lot to get the land the way you see it is now. It's myself and there's the guy on the tractor there. Yeah, he's a gentleman from Maine. He brought his tractor here and married a woman and every woman that he, I asked him to come and bring his tractor. He helped me to level some of the area. And this is the river mouth and some of the weeds that we met. And at our place, we have had an opportunity now that we've created a, a venue to host different programs that we wanted. Through uh, this year, we were able to invite uh, these gentlemen to come and be a part of the African Unity Day. Uh, our restaurant has now grown into a kind of a community place with birthday parties. Here's a picture of Rose. We brought a group last year. And we have taken the opportunity to marry education and entertainment together, which we are calling edutainment. We have uh, our books here to educate people about African history, as well as our playground and park. This is our program that we did the past two years, African Unity Day and African Unity Day, 2017 to 2016. And we are looking to partner with these brothers here and be a part of the tourism of Ghana and invite the welcome Ghanaians as well as the diaspora to come and be a part of our business and we hope to educate you and invite you to be a part of our community.